Hi. How are you doing? I'm working on the environment uh, for one of the finest scenes in the, in the movie. Mm -hmm. And uh, here, well, here you can see a very, very rough uh, rendering uh, because the scene now for the moment is, uh, all, um, is empty. It has to be filled with a lot of trees, plants everywhere, so the background made here is, uh, will be very visible in the end. I'm working on this one uh, at the moment, but I'm working also on the, a different one. Now, yeah, for this one, for example, is a, a, a set for a different scene, always in, uh, in the forest. And uh, here we have uh, this uh, wonderful uh, grass, uh, thanks to Brech and the new feature he implemented. And it's taking account of the light, the, sh the shading, the, the shadows uh, and everything. And uh, I'm making this um, on the ground of all the sketches uh, I made in game. And I can show you some, for example. Yeah, you can, uh, you can see these are very, the, the first sketches we, uh, I made for all the trees. Uh, uh, this was, uh, for example, the rabbit uh, tree. Uh, you can see we, I, I made a different, uh, tested different ideas, uh, uh, different stuff. Of course, I made also uh, a lot of different drawings for the shapes uh, of the of the trees, the plants, uh, bushes in this case. And uh, in the end, uh, I, oh, I made also, of course, uh, uh, the the color guide, for example, and uh, that we are going to follow. This one, for example, is the the color guide I made for uh, the beginning of the movie. As you can see, there are two different versions because the light is going to change. And we had also a lot of color guides of her to to try to to have the mood for uh, for the inside the forest, for example. As you can see, there, yeah, there is uh, the, the color, the colors we used in the sketches. We are going to use the colors, for example, to color the lamps uh, to have the, the mood or mm -hmm. the scene. Mm -hmm. Again, this one. Then uh, the, 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 the second step was the to, to start to model all, uh, all the stuff. And we tried also to add, uh, for example, displacement to all the objects we modeled. Here you can see, for example, the displacement work very well. It's quite easy to obtain and uh, with uh, new uh, baking features of um, the Blender. And what were the most problems you uh, ran into during the development of the environment? Yeah, the, the, there are problems actually. They are uh, basically uh, for the amount of plants we have in the scenes. Uh, they are very big amounts, and so and leaves especially. And so uh, we have to share, for example, all, all the sets in different scenes. So with Node we can uh, composite them. And uh, Blender is going to use in a better way the memory and it's not going to crash, hopefully. And, uh, uh, we are all, um, still uh, testing this. Uh, it seems to work, by the way. Uh, especially when we add, for example, displaced uh, trees, uh, it's, uh, um, it's difficult for Blender because uh, it's a lot of geometry, of course, mm -hmm. because we have to add also uh, subsurface uh, modifiers before, just before the displacement modifiers. So. And then there are the leaves, the plants, a lot of geometry. Then we have also the uh, fast AO new feature we can use, and uh, of course the is fast uh, ambient occlusion, ambient occlusion uh, new feature, the approximate ambient occlusion feature. This is very nice. In uh, this render, for example, has been used. And uh, it can uh, help a lot in um, uh, giving a global illumination effect, for example, in this one too. What was your most uh, personal uh, challenge from the whole environment uh, for the Peach movie? Well, for me it's been actually to start to have an idea at the beginning of uh, the looks the environment uh, had to have. And uh, the looks of the style, for example, for all the plants, the trees, uh, and then try to uh, make this uh, to match with the characters, for example. It's been a very challenging uh, thing because, uh, of course, we wanted uh, um, a toony style in some way, but not so much because the, the characters, uh, 
are going to have, for example, a quite realistic fur. Uh, so also the plants have to have this, uh, this kind of quality uh, tuning in some way and also uh, realistic in some way. So in the end, I thought the best way was to, uh, to have uh, um, tuny shapes, for example, and quite realistic uh, uh, textures on the object. And uh, for, for this, for example, we made uh, great use of the normal maps. Normal maps, for instance, of the bound maps. The normal maps uh, work very well, and uh, they can uh, give you very nice details, very nice effects with, with the lightning. Mm. Yeah. And are you satisfied with uh, everything until so far? Yeah, uh, for the moment I'm satisfied. And I, well, we still have, uh, we already have ever seen uh, some. Uh, Finished set, uh, also thanks to the work and he made on the composite, uh, and all the lighting, this is very great work. And um, they look great, yeah, absolutely, I, I love them. Uh, so I hope we can uh, have the same quality in all the shots from the environment uh, in all the movie. It's a challenge because we have, so I think, six or seven weeks left, so we have to work very hard, you know. Mm? Okay, good luck with that. Thank you. Thank you too.